All right, so equation practice with congruent angles. One of the things that just extending our knowledge, extending what we previously understand about, um, about congruent angles, we already know when we look at the, um, the figure of parallel lines, because of the parallel lines, that this, uh, this angle A is equal to the vertical angle A beside it. And of course, because of these complementary angles, the opposite internal angle here is also equal to the angle A. And therefore, the angle B is also equal to the angle A. So that's one of the first things we actually know about this. Um, so because we know that, we can actually set these equations as being equal to each other. So let's just do that to begin with. We have um, 7x plus 20 equals 5x plus 34. And that's what we just have from our knowledge of congruent angles. Using that information, we can now perform a little bit of algebraic manipulation on it. Um, knowing that we want to end up, we want to solve for x, we want to end up with x on its own on one side. We want x equals some value. Okay, so to do that, we're actually going to keep the larger value of x. We're going to keep the 7x here on the, on the left-hand side, and we're going to subtract 5x from both sides. And the reason we're going to subtract 5x is because this 5x here on this side is, is not what we're looking for. We don't want to have any x's on the right-hand side. We only want to have x's on the, on the left-hand side. So we're going, to, we're going to get rid of this 5x to begin with. Okay, so subtracting 5x from 5x, of course, just cancels it out. It just gives you zero. Um, but we have to do the same thing on both sides of the equation so that the equation remains true and 7x minus 5x is equal to 2x. Okay? Everything else you can bring right down um, because you haven't done anything to change them. Okay? And so it follows. The same process again, only this time without the x's. We want to bring our numbers over to the right hand side. So we're going to subtract 20, the reciprocal of what we've got, or the, the opposite of what we've got right here, the inverse rather of what we've got, we're going to subtract 20 from both sides of the equation, and that's going to cancel out the 20 on the left-hand side, and it's going to give us 14 on the right-hand side. It's going to give us 2x, in fact, equals 14. And since we know 2x equals 14, we're looking for x. So we're looking for x. To get x, we divide by the coefficient of x. So we're going to divide by 2 on both sides, and that's going to give us x equals 14 divided by 2, of course, is 7. So. That is one of the problems that you may encounter in equation practice with congruent angles. Okay, so the second type of problem you might encounter is, again, something that you're intuitively, you intuitively know. Um, we, we have the angle A and the angle B here. We're being asked to solve for X, but you know that the vertical angle to angle A is equal to angle A. And you also know that the corresponding angles to those angles are also equal to angle A. So when you know when you know that, you can already see that the angle A and the angle B create a straight line. They create 180 degrees. So where the last problem you set the two equal to each other, this is something that you actually need to set up as being equal to an actual value. So let's start with by setting up our equation. We have 3x plus 131 plus 7x plus 149 equals 180. Okay, so just with that information, we have our equation just just with the information that's been presented to us by the by the the figure and the the values that we've been presented with. So we'll combine like terms first of all. So three x plus seven x, of course, is ten x, and one hundred and thirty one plus one hundred and forty nine is two hundred and eighty. Okay. 
Okay, so 10x plus 280 is equal to 180. Performing a little bit of algebra again, we're going to subtract 280 from both sides. That's the first thing we want to get rid of. And that, of course, is going to give us negative 100 on the right-hand side and 10x on the left-hand side. And just dividing by 10 on both sides, we end up with x equals negative 10.